And so the ocean study is a bit uh, special. It's a it's a study that was um, in the it was it was in the um, second to fourth um, line of treatment or second to fourth relapse. Uh, Melflufen dex versus pomalitomid dex. Uh, it was special in the, in the um, sense that the PFS was positive for the study. OS trended the other way. And uh, we, we looked into what was the reason for that. And it turns out that uh, half of the population in the study, quite exactly half, were transplanted, half were not. The ones who were transplanted did not respond or uh, did not benefit from Erflufen. While the benefit was quite high, uh, also trending in OS uh, for the non-previously transplanted population. So that's a general sort of outcome of the study. On the basis of this, it was approved in Europe uh, from a third line in patients not transplanted before. Um, so that's where it's available now in, in, in some countries in Europe. Um, many countries have not reimbursed it uh, yet, but it's now being increasingly used in, in, in Germany and Spain, for instance. Uh, so the, the publication we're referring to now is, uh, is sort of a, um, 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 a secondary endpoint about how the quality of life was in these in this, uh, patient groups. And it, it seems like uh, Merflufen is also my experience. We have we participated in, uh, I had many patients in that and other trials for Merflufen. Uh, Merflufen is a drug with, if you disregard cytopenias, which is the problem with this drug, uh, there's almost no subjective side effects of this drug, so it's very, very easily tolerated for patients, and, uh, and the quality of life data also shows that. So it's a, it's a very tolerable drug, efficacy-wise better than POM in a non-transplanted um, population, and the quality of life data sort of um, uh, confirms um, that, that place of the treatment.